Ghosts here, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Like-minded with Eric the Ghost the Silva. Contest is scheduled for one fall with a 30-minute time limit. James Hardy always interrupting, ladies and gentlemen. First, it's fine. I'll get to my to point eventually. My right. He is the 2021 Gold Rush winner, representing the League of Terribles, accompanied by the Pro Style Champion, Tyler Colprett and Harley Haven no more. He is the Tragic Prince, Cameron Keys. Crowd really loving Cameron Keys here. I don't know if you can tell over the stream, but I've never and heard booze louder. To my left, he is your current reigning and defending Pro South All Out Champion, representing the left hand path. He is the ghost, Eric Silva. See, here's something they don't tell you about Eric Silva. Eric Silva, in the time that Pro South was not open, was carrying that All Out contest, Championship. Referee Luis Santiago was carrying that all-out championship to other promotions, putting it on the line, defending it. Eric Silva is not without experience in defending that all-out championship. We're not going to sell Eric Silva short on this. As you said, Eric Silva and myself faced each other. And Eric Silva picking up the win that night. I know what it takes to beat Eric Silva, and I know what it is to get beat by Eric Silva. Tonight, Cameron Keys cannot take his eye off of Eric Silva because just like the ghost does, he'll slip in there and he'll catch you when you're least expecting it. Our official Santiago on top of the action. He definitely has his hands full here. And our main event is underway. These two know each other so well. They've been in and out of the ring with each other. As they mentioned earlier, you traveled with each other. you got to think that both of these men have evolved since the last time they've been in the ring with each other. But they are going to have to pull out all the stops, things that each other do not know about each other, things that they possibly haven't done before to pick up the win in this match. Both men just circling, waiting to see which one is going to strike first. Right, here we go. All right, both men looking to lock a grip, but. See, Silva's not one of those men to underestimate either. You talk about Silva. See, just a little less than a year ago, Silva was also the Pro South champion. And he was a long reigning Pro South champion. It's not like he had it just overnight. He had that belt and defended it many times, like a champion should. And then, even after losing the Pro South championship to that man we're looking at right now, Tyler Culprit, he comes back through the fire and flames and wins against Reynolds the all-out championship. Silva is no stranger to gold. A triple crown winner here at Pro South. So when it comes to Silva, you cannot sell him short in this match, no matter what outside influence you have. Cameron Keys taking over with the top wrist lock now, looking to transition. Silva doing a good job in the reversal and just shoving Keys off. You've got to know that's making him angry. It's just making him angry. And before too long, anger will turn into embarrassment. Oh! oh. And I that, think that's where Keith makes a mistake. You do not want to get into a striking battle with Eric the Ghost Silva. That's it. And like I said, anger turning into embarrassment. Before too long, Silva's going to force him to make a mistake. Both men just swinging and missing. Oh, oh. neat. Driven right into the face there. Keith's going for the key blade. No, Silva able to dodge. Oh, flipping Cam over. Oh, he's went for the dramatic iron knee. Silva caught it. So you got to think possibly Silva when he flipped him over with that back roll that he was possibly going for that hook that Cameron Keese uses sometimes to put away his opponents. Maybe Cameron Keese scouted that because it's in his own repertoire and noticed that Silva was going for that. Ooh, Keese with a shot to the throat. That's something you usually see from Eric Silva. Wait a minute, Keese has got Silva hooked. Could Keese be going for the hellplex? See, that's the thing. Uh, 
I talk about going deep into your repertoire to pull out some things that you don't normally do, but it seems like they know each other well enough that they're going for each other's moves. Silva catching the legs of Keist. And as you say there, Silva with the shots in the back, this is the position we see Keist. He's that German, that German. Sliding he German. He, he hits the German. You got to wonder if he got all of it, but he hits that German flush. If I'm Eric Silva, I'm not focusing too much on what's going on on the outside. I know he's got to keep his eyes on Swivel, but I'm trying to pin Cameron Keist right here. This could be a mistake. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Collateral damage from Keist on the Silva. That's the move that Silva has put many people on. One. one. Just a one. Just a one. God, you got to love when he just comes over here and talks right in your ear. He kicked out at one. That's what happened. And then just this look of anger in the eyes of Silva, and here we go. Both men swinging with everything they got. This is what the All Out Championship is all about. Silva just driving these forearms right into the face of Keys. Keys with a headbutt. You got to hope that these guys don't forget the rules here. This passion, the, this fight that they have in them could cause them a disqualification at any moment. And, and that's the, the thing. They have one rope break, they have a disqualification that could cost them everything in this match. So they've got to keep focused on the rules. They've got to keep focused on that all-out championship. As you said, Damian, Eric Silva has got to be careful because if he were to get himself disqualified in our all-out division rules, he would lose the all-out championship to the Tragic Prince. Not the first time he's been all-out champion. Not the first time he's continued under these rules. But this kind of pressure around Eric Silva, everybody at ringside, every everyone as far as the terribles looking over the shoulder of Eric Silva, you got to think that Eric Silva's off his game a little bit. Here comes Keys charging in. Silva sending him up and over. Oh, beautiful job there by Silva to sweep the legs out, and both of Keys' knees hit hard on the apron. I have seen him use that sweep before, but not as effectively as that. How many times have you seen Silva go for a sweep while someone is on the apron and just see them fall like that? I don't see Silva do that much, so he's pulling deep out. Of all of the moves that he knows, he's pulling out some of some of the most dastardly things I've seen Silva do. And now Silva and Keys battling out on the floor here. Remember, in our all-out all out division, both these competitors have a 20 count on the outside instead of 10. So Silva has all the time in the world to inflict some punishment to Keys. Both former all-out champions, you've got to know that they are going to stress that 20 count as much as they can. But they also got to look out on the outside. You know Keist is banking on having Cole Pret, having Harley Haven there on the outside. And Silva has no one. Wait a minute. Silva now going to be hooking Keist for here. Silva may be looking for a suplex on the apron there. Keith's doing a good job getting a lower position, trying to block it. See, that's the thing about Cameron Keith. Cameron Keith is just dirtier and nastier than Silva right now. He's dirtier and nastier than I've ever seen him. But this crowd rallying behind Silva, you might think that Silva will get a little bit more. He's got to he's got to get a little bit more of himself into this match because Silva is thrown really off his game. You can tell that this is not something he's used to contending to a bunch of outside interference and a bunch of rules when there's passion involved. He's now trying to drag Silva back to his feet. Looking to send Silva face first into the barricade. Silva doing a good job of blocking it. And now Keith eats the barricades. He's just really, really regretting breaking that count right now. He's once again hitting those barricades hard. Silva trying to drag Keast up. Wait a minute. Silva's got a hold of those fingers. This is something we see. Oh. Keast! Silva may have just snapped the fingers of Cameron Keast. It's going to be hard to come back from that. It's going to be very hard to come back from that. A lot of Cameron's offense includes using his hands. And if he can't hook on any of his finishing moves, if he can't latch those fingers to make Silva tap out later, if he can't latch those fingers to put Silva's head into the mat, this could be over for Cameron Keys. Silva just dumping Keys onto the apron now. 
Keast backing up into the far corner here, just trying to get some feeling back into those fingers. I think he just finally got it snapped back into place. Here comes Silva, there's the back elbow. Step up Izaguri right to the side of the head. Got a little block in there, you gotta know that Keast saw it coming. Went for I the said. boot, Keast able to counter. Ripcord, Lariat there from Keast. See, I can't stress how much, one, two, and a kick out, a kick out there by Silva, but I can't stress how much these guys know each other. Did you see it, it, exactly, he had it, he had him scouted. As soon as, as soon as he hit that top kick, you saw the block go up by Cameron Keys and the, the crowd rallying behind Silva here. Silva going for that big boot and Cameron moving out of the way. And now Keys just measuring Silva, waiting for him to get his feet. Comes Keys charging in. Corner European uppercut there. Oh! There's the step up Izaguri. Got Silva right in the ribs. A little bit of Silva for Silva there. Oh, wow. And a boot from Keys. You know what Silva usually follows this up with? Keys. Geronimo! Oh. oh! Silva moving out of the way. And now it's Silva's turn. Geronimo! Oh. Just splattering him on the mat. If I'm Silva, I'm going for a cover right here. I think Silva knows what he needs to do to put him away, though. He is measuring Keast. Silva knows if he can connect with the collateral damage, this one could be over. See, look at the eyes of Silva, though. He keeps redirecting his eyes to the outside, and that's exactly why right there. That is exactly why he has his eyes on Swivel. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, look, there's Harley, there's Harley. She's got that umbrella. Wait a minute. Our referee's distracted. No, Harley's got the umbrella. Wait a minute. We, we, we just lost the lights, what, what, what's going on? What, 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 what's going on? We just lost power here in the building. What are we seeing? What is this? Oh my God! That's Matthias! Matthias, Matthias Dark Thorn is here at Pro the, South Wrestling! The Dark Mastermind of the Left Hand Path is back in Pro South! This turns the tide, this turns the table. Collateral Here's damage! Up. Collateral damage. Here it goes. He's on top. Cover! Two and three, and it's over. It's over. Eric Silva picking up a win for the All Out Championship. Oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, what a turn of events we've just seen in our main event this evening.